So welcome everyone to Hellburner tutorial, let's get right into it. Hellburner is a self-detonating robot with 60 kph max speed and a special ability called Overload. Upon activation of its ability, Hellburner gets speed boost and it detonates after 7 seconds. Its ability cooldown is only for 3 seconds. Now in the screen I'm showing level 12 mark 1 stats for Hellburner. For more information you can check, link in the description. I believe there are two strong setups for Hellburner, one of them being Ember Halo and the other one Ansel EQ. Ember Halo has a good damage output combined with the ability damage, Ansel EQ has more survivability in the battlefield. You can choose one of both depending on your playstyle. Ansel EQ is more aggressive, has more freedom of choices and Ember Halo needs to be played more tactically. Need to, needs to be strategized well before attacking enemies or before attacking a beacon. I would personally recommend Ansel EQ as it's cheaper to get and upgrade than the Ember Halo build and it is as strong as that one. Hellburner is usually used for fast beacon grabbings and that is a very good thing to do. But don't rush a beacon or an enemy without a good plan and hoping for the best. Take your Hellburner as any other normal robot, take a breath, check the battlefield, check the ranges of your enemies, identify what robots and what weapons are your enemies running. And depending on the situation, develop a plan, try to be as tactical as you can with your bot and think critically before attacking an enemy or a beacon. Also don't use your ability when you don't need to, here for example. I'm already capping the beacon, I don't need to activate my ability, I'm saving that for a possible encounter with the robot that is coming to the beacon. Before going for an important beacon, answer these questions. Will you be able to take down the beacon or will you be able to prevent the enemy from taking the beacon? And do you have the support of your teammates? If the answer was no to all the questions, then don't rush the beacon immediately, find another way to be useful. As you see here in this footage, I let the two Hellburners take the beacon and when they got occupied I took, the, took it back from them. And after taking it back, I'm going back to help my teammates at our beacon near our base. So depending on the situation, develop such plans and try your best doing so. Before attacking enemies, determine if it's worth attacking that enemy or those enemies. After this step, make sure that you'll reach them with your ability radius before exploding. And also beware of lockdown weapons, that is very important because lockdown weapons are the best counter to the Hellburner and you definitely don't want to get locked down. As for modules, I recommend durability modules paired with repair unit for increased survivability in the battlefield. So alright everyone, thanks for watching and see you all in the next video.